Um, and we talked earlier, but I know you've, we're going to talk more about the comics you did before, and you came from the background as an animator. It feels like a different kind of thing nowadays, where there's this expectation that you're not just drawing or writing it. So can you talk a little bit, did you have an expectation that working in animation meant that being a writer would be such an important part of the role? Honestly, uh, when I was, I had no idea I'd get to be getting to do this or be getting to write. I, I, my whole plan was like, I'm gonna study animation. I just, I, I wanna be some cog. I, I, I just wanna be near it because I love it so much. Uh, and then I'll go home and I'll do independent comics and that's where I'm gonna write and that's where I'm gonna draw. I figured that I would not be creatively fulfilled in my job, but I would have independent comics and I would get to make a lot of stories. And I didn't actually know that the position of storyboarder or that board-driven shows existed. Um, I just really loved animation and I really wanted to write a bunch of comics. So, so when I found out, when I got the job in Adventure Time, I mean, my mind was blown because I was like, this job, being a storyboard artist for that show was just everything I ever wanted to do. I didn't even, I had no idea I'd get to do something like that. And, and then getting to make my own show, my first thing I wanted to do was just give other people a chance to do that job, writing and drawing um, for animation, because it's, I thought, I mean, as an animation fan, uh, just of animation history, that's how all the best cartoons were made. I didn't think anyone did them that way anymore. I mean, I, that's how they did, that's how they made Looney Tunes. That's, that's how they made everything that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, artists. Writing. And since we're, this is at a comics related show at Mocha uh, Arts Fest, we should talk about there's a lot of indie cartoonists working on your staff. I yes. was look, and a lot of these are friends of ours. There's, there's Lamar Abrams, mm -hmm. Katie, Hillary, Helen Joe worked on the show, Angie Wang works on the show. Mm -hmm. we're very, it's a super team that you've assembled. And so I was curious um, so much of the show is, you know, your story. How do you make sure that you give these talented people enough of that same? leash or rope that you have on Adventure Time to make sure they can tell stories that are personal to them. Well, the, whole, balance that. the whole system is set up to do that. What we do is we, we don't write scripts, we write premises and outlines. Um, and when the storyboarders uh, take those premises and outlines and flesh them out, the things that don't work um, as, you know, when you draw it, uh, they, they change it, they make it what they want it to be. If they, if they change it to the point that it ceases to make any sense, they, they pitch it, and, and which doesn't happen, everyone's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, we, they pitch it in a room, we all pitch it in a room, and my entire team of all of those people and my writers, and yes. um, we all sort of watch it down as someone pitches it and we talk about it as a group. So uh, mm -hmm. nothing gets all the way to being finished without everybody seeing it and weighing in on whether or not everyone's in character and, and whether or not the story makes sense, and if this is setting things up for the next thing, because we all know what the next thing's going to be. Right. No, you guys don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, you know, we have to, sometimes we'll be like, oh, well, is this really what we need to say right now, considering five episodes from now we're going to be talking about this? Uh, so we have to, we do it always <laughs> together. Are, they, are you scary in those pitches? Or is it a friendly environment, or do you think the writers and, and the storyboard artists, when they come in, are they, are they intimidated? Um, like, is it a very critical experience, <laughs> or is it like a friendly? I think it, 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 well, it's, it's really both. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, as someone who used to board and who would yeah. do pitches, I mean, it's, pitching is really, it's fun and it's terrifying because it's especially if you had a plan that is not the original plan and you're just like, I really, this is what I really want out of this. I hope everybody's on board. And then, but you have to sell it. Like, you really have to perform, which for someone who's an animator and a comic artist and does not, like, to perform, because yes. uh, uh, for a shy person, it's horrifying. And the more you, I'm sure, the more you perform it, the better chance it has to actually getting carried. Yes, yes, that's the thing. It's it's uh, it's um, it's almost like extortion. It's like you're, you're, the, the idea you want is is begging you to sell it. <laughs> and the yeah, in the, the more you the more you uh, sell it, the more chance you have of getting it to be the story you want. So, um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting. It's fun, and it's so much like, I mean, when I was like, on Adventure Time, uh, we would pin the boards up on the wall, we'd have a ruler, we'd, I mean, it's like old photos of Termite Terrace. I mean, it's exactly like how people did it, you know, almost a hundred years ago, it's so. Yeah, I saw my, my friend Calvin Wong works on the show regular, the regular show, and um, I've seen his pitch boards, and it's literally post-it notes on these giant mats of styrofoam boards, and he's yeah. like carrying them down the hallway. And, like, <laughs> and he looks like a madman salesman, or something, and like, yeah. and like a madman. It's very, yeah, we, we I used, we used to pitch it on the wall, and in which case the stick is a very important tool. 
because you have to brandish it when you really, you know, mean it. Yeah, yeah. Smack the page. <laughs> Smack the drawing that's important. Do you do voices when you're pitching? Do you um, do the voices? I don't. You don't. Uh, uh, some people can. I can't. I, I have two voices, which is a, a small uh, and nervous and freaking out and nervous. <laughs> two things, two levels that I have. Um, yeah, we, we pitch right now. We, we pitch like this. We will have digital boards. So uh, we'll go through. Like really smack the keys if you really want something to have impact. Bang on the table. Yeah, it's, 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 it's,